It's day one for the newest batch of students at Singularity University. You're interested in the world's biggest problems. Uh, you're not interested in yet another photo sharing app. <laughs> Excuse me to those of you who are doing photo sharing apps. <laughs> While singularity refers to a time when artificial intelligence will surpass human intelligence, Singularity University, or SU, doesn't focus on that, nor is it a traditional university. Rather, it offers programs, like its accelerator, that steep students in disruptive tech. Such as artificial intelligence, robotics, autonomously uh, self-driving cars, um, synthetic biology, energy systems, nanotech, etc. Um, so we teach those in depth. The second lens we're looking at the world is to look at the different areas of global grand challenges. So this is, for example, water, poverty, security and safety, education. Add to that a Silicon Valley twist. We like to challenge our students to come up with an idea that's going to positively impact at least a billion people within 10 years. And they have 10 weeks to do it, which may explain why students dub SU Sleepless University. Some do fail. One project that set out to bring low-cost connectivity to Internet of Things devices couldn't overcome technical hurdles. But others have progressed towards SU's ambitious goals. It's one thing to create a life-changing technology in a lab, but how do you know it's truly going to make a difference in the world? You ask somebody who has made a difference, like a Nobel Peace Prize winner. Singularity University, first thing that impressed me, they have the bundle of imaginations and then followed by the technology. So there we come with social business so that it goes, those ideas, those technology go in the right direction. Miraculous is one possible opportunity, a cheap blood test that examines microRNA to quickly screen for diseases like cancer. So the hope is you can actually find cancers way, way earlier. Thus, the treatment also becomes significantly less invasive. So can, you can do like micro-dosing of uh, radiation therapy, for example. Another idea born at Singularity uses drones for last-mile delivery of medical supplies. Whether in a traffic-clogged city or a rural village with poor roads. It's called Matanet One. It can transport one kilogram of a payload over 20 kilometers fully autonomously. Meaning the drones aren't piloted. In order to do that, it assesses terrain, airspace, population density and weather, and then it gives me a flight plan. Matternet 1 can fly in the rain and winds up to 10 meters per second. If the drone fails, a parachute helps protect the payload. This summer, Matternet will run trials in Switzerland to gauge how the drones handle mountainous terrain. Previous tests took place in Papua New Guinea and Bhutan, which uses telemedicine to cope with the doctor shortage. How do you collect diagnostic if you need a blood sample to be analyzed, for instance? Today, it may take up to 12 days to transport the diagnostic from the clinic to the hospital. With a system like Maternet, it can be a matter of a, fair, of a couple of hours. And once you have the positive diagnosis, then you can use the same system to deliver medicine. If they succeed in Bhutan and other areas lacking all-season roads, Matternet could help a billion patients, one drone flight at a time. <laughs>